AirTag number four is the most traveled AirTag I have. And this time I was pre-warned that it's going to fly out of Sydney and uh, I could figure out what flight it was on. And um, that's a good thing about uh, Flight Radar 24. I love this, this application. That is so good. You can exactly find out where the plane is, where it's going, and all the other things that goes with it. So we were on our way to Ho Chi Minh City. And um, that is the other thing that I like very much with these planes. They um, fly directly over Darwin. Actually, more or less directly over my office, <laughs> which is so good. Anyhow, so I followed the plane leaving Sydney, and uh, the next shot I took was when it was over Darwin. And here you see it uh, approaching the East Arm Wharf, and that blue dot that is my office. And uh, that is Bayview. My office is a little bit to the top right. You will see that on the next shot. There, and it's uh, flying nearly overhead. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun to, to see. Anyhow, I uh, followed the plane to Hanoi, and then it was, oh, sorry, Ho Chi Minh City. And then it was there for a while. Oh yeah, that is the other thing. You can see even exactly which gate it is standing at. It is just so good. And then um, the air tag made it into the building. And then the next time I saw it was over Cambodia. I got a ping on the way. And I said, oh, where are we going now? I couldn't figure it out. And then the next, um, the next ping was uh, Bulgaria, then I knew, okay, Europe somewhere. And uh, got one, one more ping on the way, that is in Serbia. And then I had to go to bed, that was getting too late. And so the air tech probably went to, or probably it went to Paris and spent a few days in Paris. I followed it around as much as I could and recorded all the different uh, situations it went to. And then it ended up in the uh, French countryside quite a bit away from, uh, from Paris, obviously by car, because that was probably the only way you got there. Yeah, that was very interesting to, to see how it was uh, sort of going about it. And it's uh, spent a bit of a, of a time there, and uh, here's a bigger picture where it is. And, um, yeah, that was, that was sort of um, interesting to follow it. And then it was on the freeway, or whatever they call it in France, I have no idea. And here you see all the four air tags I had at that time in, in Europe. There are three in Germany and one in France. Um, the two up there in Germany, I will get them on the way soon. Yeah, and then we went to the Atlantic coast spent a few days there. Unfortunately, I did not pick the um, departure. I had, I had a big job on, I had a government delegation to drive for three days, so I didn't have the time to follow that air tag around. So I had to, I had to sort of cut it short a bit. And yeah, and the next time I saw it back in Sydney, and uh, there it was, well done. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye.